Alrighty, everyone. We are back, and we're going to be playing some more Genitron while I get ready for this uh, this IQ this upcoming weekend. So we're going to jump into it. So I've been uh, playing a lot of this in my free time. Um, I haven't really updated this version of the deck because I've been enjoying this quite a bit, and I haven't found anything that I want to take out. The card that I've really been trying to fit into the deck is a um, is a Witchbane Orb. I wouldn't mind that. I think that it would do some good work against a lot of the matchups. But I feel like the, the wish list is so tight right now that because of how I have I have it set up where I'm putting these three and then the O-Stone um, in the side, it eats up three additional slots. And I don't really want to go down on the Nature's Claims right now. I've been bringing them in in a lot of matchups. Um, the Sorcerer Spyglass... I've been curious about if I want to keep that where it's at, because the the card's um, really sweet, obviously, but there have been a couple of situations where I feel like it would have been better to have a uh, Pithing Needle, just because of the one mana cheaper. Um, there was a time where I had to play through a Pithing Needle and I couldn't. So that was a little awkward, but I don't think that um, warrants doing it just for the Damping Sphere. Um, I did think about playing a Damping Sphere in the side, but I felt it was too narrow um, for what I'm looking for, and it's going to shut me down a ton, obviously. So, um, yeah, so as a result, I've just mainly been playing this list over and over to see where I can uh, take it and see what's uh, going to be worthwhile. Um, so I'm going to keep playing testing until I find something that stands out to me to where I'd want to cut it. Um, so far, I haven't found that card, so... Um, so let's uh, jump into a comp league. I did manage to go 5 0 with this deck on Friday night, I think it was. And then I went 4 1 and then a 3 2 um, this weekend so far. So that was pretty cool being able to do some, I really think, some reasonable run with that and did pretty well so that's always awesome um other than that i don't i haven't thought too much about changing anything up so if you guys are thinking about seeing anything or trying anything let me know i uh would not mind trying out additional lists but for now i'm pretty happy with this current version All right, so this version, this hand here we have, um, not the best. We're on the draw. We can't form Tron that easily unless we draw a piece here, and then we would just be able to drop it, obviously. Um, the Relic makes things interesting, so does the Blast Zone, but overall, I don't think this hand's worth keeping. Uh, we got no land, so we're going to ship this back. Uh, five, that's pretty bad. Let's go down four. Four is pretty bad. All right, we'll keep this three. I uh, do tend to mull fairly aggressively with this deck. I uh, I feel that it's a bad decision to not do that. And so we got another uh, Tron piece on top. That's pretty awesome. Um, so let's run this out and see if we can find a threat that we can drop here. Because we're going to have Tron in turn three. Are we going against? And we've got a card. We're professionals at this game. In case anyone was curious about whether or not we're good at having turn three card, the answer is yes. We're great at it. <laughs> so we're probably gonna have to exile a creature and then lose our card. Um, which isn't bad. Ooh, they're going to neoform their uh, Strangaroo. That's pretty sweet. Let's see what kind of 3 drop they're getting here. If it's just going to be the 5 4 elf, I think that's kind of fine. We're going to take 6, go to 10, exile that. They kill Karn, we'll go to 7. So we basically need to draw a threat here. A Rallier? Okay. 
is ramping themselves. Oh, and it okay, and it makes experimental larger. Gotcha. So we're gonna go down to nine. Okay. Well, we're gonna exile this experiment one and see if we're dead. This is an interesting deck our boat's got. Oh, oh, we're dead. <laughs> they uh, turned their creature into a 3-3. Three, three. Okay, okay. So, in this case here, I think the relics are worth keeping in because we can hit their creatures uh, when they do the undying. Um... Mm-mm-mm. Quite the beating. And so I'm just going to take out one Ulamog and I'm going to bring in another Relic. And I think that's all the changes I would want to do. Everything else I'm fine with fetching up. Well, let's bring in the Worm Coil as well. I wouldn't mind getting that. So we'll get that, drop the other Ulamog, and let's run it this way. is pretty fast. I mean, we did go down to three cards there and still try to manage to hold on. Um, I, I would say that going down to three and turn three charming is, uh, into a card and is pretty good. So, if we would have hit a worm coil there, it would have been top notch. Although, I guess if we would have drawn a worm coil, we still probably, we would have gone down to one, right? Or would we have just been dead? So we would have blocked they're a big creature, they rapid it, we don't gain any life, we take seven, go down to two. So if they would have played anything else with that, we would have been done for. So that's interesting. Alright, this is solid, we'll keep this. So, it's uh, we're not dropping Ugin until turn four. But when we drop Ugin, we're going to be doing a ton of work. Because uh, we're going to be able to exile their whole board. We'll have to decide if we want to use this expedition map to go get a forest for the Sylvan Scrying. Or if we just want to leave it and go get like a tower. And that way we can maximize our mana. Or if we want to get a Sanctum. Uh, we have the mana, so I'm leaning towards Sanctum here, so we're probably just going to pass. Looks like I got a little bit of a slower hand, so I'm cool with that. Alright, let's go get... Well... Yeah, we're going to get Sanctum. Because um, we could go get Blast Zone, but we can't activate it anyway. So... We're just going to play it and pass, and then we'll drop Ugin, wipe their board, get a Worm Coil, and then that should be game from there. Unless they're going to mess with our mana, it'll be game. Teague is pretty rude. is pretty 
<laughs> oh, I really regret not taking that blast zone now. Well, if we can hit a green source here, we can... We can drop the Sylvan Scrying, but uh, we pretty much have to draw it next turn. Oh, I'm getting punished really hard for going for the uh, next aggressive line. <laughs> All right, we're going on a one. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Nope, that's just game. That's, that's a strangler for lethal. Wow. So unfortunate. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we should have fetched up the green source, I guess, and that way we would have been able to play Sylvan Scrying or Ancient Stirrings, um, or just fetch up the Blast Zone, but I really wanted to get that Sanctum so we can drop the Ugin and then go get a threat, you know? Oh, man. Uh, I think we, uh, played poorly there, unfortunately. Play and this is solid. Looks like we're against Dredge, most likely here. Yep. We got Karn, that's just pretty cool. So next turn, we're going to be able to... Let's just go fetch up a tower and we can pass here. So we can grab Karn on our turn. Oh, that's brutal. I guess lucky for us to hit the one that we have a duplicate of. Okay. Well, let's Ancient Stirrings. Let's grab Ugin. We'll drop the tower and pass it. So that way we're not giving up too much information. play on our opponent's part if they didn't have the land, but they do. So they're alone here. Okay. Alrighty, so I feel pretty good about this. We'll drop Ugin. We'll exile the board. And then next turn we'll drop Karn and exile the graveyard based off what they do. In worst case scenario, I don't see a can flag in the graveyard, so they shouldn't be able to take out Ugin. Deciding. I'll do a big board, that's fine with us. Are they just gonna loan? No, they are cathartic, okay.
pretty sweet pile we're gonna take away from them. Okay, so we will Sylvan Scrying. We'll get ourselves a power plant, drop the power plant, drop a carn. We'll gladly use it. Let's get this relic. Hit the board. Drop this. Draw a card. We're just doing a bunch of stuff. That's great. And we'll get relic. And we'll pop a relic. Alright. That should set them back pretty hard. And if they don't take care of Karn this turn, we will lock them on our turn and that'll be the game. Okay. Alrighty. So we do want to bring in um, either the Graft Diggers or the Relics because the Karn can find the other one, but increasing our hits in the main board for that seems good to me. Okay. So we'll bring in the Cage. And we'll leave the Relic in the side. And then we have to kind of decide if we think we want to bring in like a worm coil here and then just leave and that way we have more hits in the main. Um, I feel like in this matchup I'm fine with leaving on the side, but we'll try this out. We'll try this out. We'll drop the little mogs with this and we'll give this a test run, see if this is worthwhile. We've got Tron together, and we've got a way to wipe the board. And we got two cantrips. Let's see if we can find ourselves a uh, relevant threat. These board sweepers aren't bad, but they're really not going to save us because a lot of their uh, dredges for us just come back over and over. So. The hit alone, it's good for them. That's a whole lot of power that he's put on the board. Let's use it. Let's get Karn. Alright, they don't have more dredge effects, which is good for us. That's a grudge. Hopefully they'll grudge our sphere. draw obviously here but uh, from that but that's okay uh, the question we have to ask ourselves is whether or not we want to go for the graveyard or take care of one of these amalgams 
Mm-mm-mm. We'd be getting rid of... Hmm. Doesn't seem bad to go after just a threat right now. The only thing they have in the graveyard is Loam, and they have a Salvage in hand, right? And But if we leave them alone, they're going to be able to Faithless, and that seems pretty bad. So maybe because of that, we should just go for the Graveyard hit. And I had one in hand, so that's just lethal. Okay, okay. It's front of back. So this hand's really awkward. It has a the relic that we like, but it's only got one Tron piece, three can cantrips, and an expedition map. The risk is just really high, so I don't think we can keep this. Similar situation, and it's even worse off because it has uh, no relic. This one's got two lands, which makes me feel better about keeping it with the expedition map. So let's keep this one, and we've got the tower on top. So once again, we've got turn three Tron, ideally here. So we just got to get our hands on a threat. Blood gas, Hanukkah flag. That's not good for us. It's a whole lot of pressure. Cool, and a cathartic. on here and we'll pass it over. Sylvan's grind. Okay. What a pretty awkward spot. We're gonna pass it over. Malgum's good. Means we're not bringing back anything immediately. We can't blow this thing, this blast zone, up for anything right now. Uh, 
think we're gonna add three here. I mean, two on it to make it three. And we hit another land. So unfortunately, that's game. That's a bummer. Not starting off that well tonight, folks. That's okay, that's how it works sometimes. We just drew a bunch of lands there. Mold a bunch. I feel like I'm a bit red. I've been out disc golfing all day yesterday and all day today. And I did not put uh, sunscreen on, which was definitely a mistake. I usually have it in the car. Did not know where mine went, so I need to get my hands on some more sunscreen and get it in my car. Oh look, there's us. <laughs> we gotta keep up. We got two people with us. Six five oh trophies. We're only at two. We're garbage. And thanks everybody for joining tonight. Uh, we're just going to be playing some Genitron all night. I want to get a lot of games in to see if there's anything else that I want to modify before the uh, IQ this weekend. All right, we've got Tron and a threat, so we're going to keep this. Shadow of Doubt the other day. And ever since then, I've been like really conscious of cracking my fetches on my turn and uh, not getting blown out by that. It was against a, a Reclamation deck, and they're just like, or was it against a, it was either a Reclamation deck or it was a Scape Shift deck, and I just couldn't believe it hit me with that. I was like, well, that's a, that's a bit awkward for me. So, yeah. Playing around that again, seeing as how people seem to be on it. I've only seen one deck, but that one deck was enough to scare me off of uh, just blindly cracking my... Uh, waiting until their turn to crack my um, maps. So I did, however, get to ghost quarter them in response um, to them getting me denied land. I end a turn, took them off of a land, which was kind of cool. Because they were like, oh, you don't get Tron. I'm like, okay, well then you lose your dual land. Another worm coil. Looks as though we're against Esper control. So this is probably getting path. Yeah. It's a cool opponent. We didn't really want it anyway. And we've got more lands because we're dope. 
So I don't want to drop the Sylvan's Grind yet, just in case they are on uh, some kind of landy. With like Field of Ruin or something. Be a little greedy of them, I feel like, but you never know. I don't think they run zero. I think they run like one or two. There's that field of ruin. I feel like our worm coil is gonna get bounced so hard. Don't worry, we've got a Karn to back it up. All right, let's Sylvan's Crying. Go get ourselves a Sanctum. Drop the Sanctum. Drop the Karn. Yes. Mog. And we're basically on a 50 50 shot if we're going to be able to cast the Ula Mog, but if not, we're going to be able to cast the Worm Call, and I'm okay with that. Let's hit their Jace. I don't want them to get any more advantage on us. And we'll pass it over. Got it. And I'm gonna bring in the nature's claims here. Just two of them. I still want to be fairly threat dense. Um, but I, I don't know if there's been some solidification on the Esper list yet. So I'm expecting them to play some enchantment and artifact hate against us. So. And if anybody has been keeping up with me on my weight loss, I uh, actually hit a pretty big goal this uh, week, which I was really excited about. Hit the 50 pounds loss. So that's very exciting. It's ahead of schedule a good bit. Um, so I got uh, I got the rest of the year to lose the other 30 some pounds that I want to hit. And then from there, I think after the weight loss, I just want to start working on getting more fit getting better so it's been a pretty interesting journey not as difficult as i thought it was going to be so it was nice to uh you know realize that weight loss is just um self-discipline that's pretty good old extended border opponents got all the cool lines I would really just like to draw a uh, relevant card here. Come on. Stirrings. Come on, baby. Okay. I'm taking this because we can cast that turn four. So we'll see if we're cool. Oh, you heard Taekwondo is good for uh, getting in shape? Honestly, man, I, I've, I've really wanted to get back in there with you. Um, the biggest thing that's been holding me back is I just don't have time. But I would love to get back in there and start working out with you. I thought uh, it was very, very enjoyable. I think I'm going to negate us. All right, we're going to run out one expedition map. I'm going to hold the other one in hand. I mean, next year I'll be done with school, and then my evenings will be much freer, and uh, and then I think that would be a good time to start it back up again. Well, the Saturday mornings I travel a lot for Magic right now, too. Thursday nights I could probably swing.
Just noticed this was a little off. Yeah. Are they gonna unmoored eagle? What, what are they gonna name? That was interesting. Okay. Well, at least they're not hitting our Tron lands. If they were a turn earlier, that would have been bad. Taking a look, see. Well, we're gonna draw a card. So we just have. Oh, we did. <laughs> we're professionals. Okay. Let's crack this. For a sanctum. I feel like when I start back up, though, I'm going to be pretty much be a white belt again because I feel like I'll forget everything that I have you've taught me because it's been such a long time. Ooh, and we well. How can we not go for the lock, right, folks? How can we not? Uh. Ah. Do we got a spell pierce? Winning by locking them out. <laughs> Best win. Sweet. Well, it wouldn't be till next year, but uh, probably we can try to uh, see if I can get back in there around next year, around uh, March or so. I'd be completely done with school at that point. I don't think I have any ambition to uh, do anything beyond my current schooling other than... Well, that's not true. I, I think I might... It's only two more classes, and I would be able to get a... Um, a graduate certificate in data analytics and that way I wouldn't feel as bad about the two classes I took and then swapped so I feel like I might do that but even then that's gonna be purely online and I can just uh, um, I feel like I can just do that like cuz it's an online class I can just do whatever it's just like my current classes are anyhow because for whatever reason I swapped into this program to do in C classes and my last two classes and my next two classes are all online. Really feels bad. Alright, so this hand's not forming Tron. This hand is forming Tron. Put that to the bottom. Well, it's a good thing to know you're not going anywhere anytime soon, man. I would be sad without you in my life. We're not going against Suicide Zoo. We're most likely just going against Black Green Rock. Let's play this and pass. See if they want to go after. I would be so happy if they go after our power plant. Well, I am just going to play a land and pass. I'm not a rush, it's just one damage. Yes, they go after the power plant. We're professionals. I feel like I can like so easily just disappear. Alright, we're gonna discard this power plant since we have one more in hand. I don't wanna crack that map yet, because we do have um 
it would make the wave larger. I think we have to do it right now though, because I'd like to run out the O Stone and play the Ancient Stirrings. So if we don't crack it right now, we're not going to be able to crack it until later, and that could put it at a liability of getting hit. Carns, dope, let's grab that. And let's expose the O stone. We're gonna have to pitch the Sanctum, I think. <sighs> Another field's rough. It does mean we can still O stone, which is pretty important. Alright. Not bad. We're gonna crack this now, because I don't want to get hit with the Liliana uptick again. We're gonna ship this over. Not terrible here, because we're gonna be able to play Karn. We can down tick and go fetch up. Uh, Holy, this would make things a little bit more difficult. So if we run off card now, we can go get Crucible. Um, which would be pretty good, I think. Because then that would let us... That would let us start reforming everything. We could play arc everything. We can chain Sanctums. Um, we're going to run up this Chromatic first and crack it. Just to see if we're super lucky. Do we want to chance it? We should reasonably be able to hit a land, right? Yeah. So land. Karn. If we down tick, Karn's dead. If we up tick, Karn lives. But I feel like we want to guarantee we get this... Uh, we want to guarantee we get this Crucible. Let's just pass it over. Yeah, but I feel like that's how it is, right? Like, as we all get older and older, it's really easy to just... Like, you don't see your friends as much. It's easy to just, like not see them, go do other things. Because that's just how it is. Alright, we're going to drop out the tower. We can run out of Ballista for four. That doesn't seem bad, because Ballista for four means we could shoot down the Confidant. And then take the three from um, Callista. Got Kalidas. Things awkward for us. Okay. So I thought this card would get placed. That's pretty exciting that it is. So we're just gonna shoot them. It's gonna give them a 2-2. Two, two. Just gonna go for a big hit here. It's not terrible. Alrighty, I think what we want to do is actually not get the Sanctum and just run out uh, a duplicate Tron piece so then we can run out both Tron and, I mean, both Karn and Worm Coil. I'm 
exile that duder. Because that dude and Worm Coil do not get along well, I tell you what. Alright, that should be pretty brutal for them to get through at this point. Yeah. Alright, I like the relics in this matchup. It's uh, relevant for the Goyf, so. Uh, not so much that I really want to cut anything else here, because all this stuff is pretty great against them. So, we're just going to run this back. That's the other thing I, I've been doing a lot of, is like, the main board's just fine, because it's so threat dense already. And a lot of the things that we want to bring in, um, other than the relic or the graph diggers, we can just leave it in the side. And then we can fetch it up when we feel that it's good to be fetched up. This hand's terrible. We're going to ship that. This hand's also terrible. And we'll keep this one. Ugin, Ugin, Ugin. As much as I want to, I'm going to bottom you. I'd like to hit a star, a sphere, or a forest. Or just naturally hitting the Tron. Okay. Okay, deck. They're, pro they're a pro bob. They got a swamp. Okay, well, they gave us the forest. don't want to use the Sylvan Scrying yet. If I can ever avoid it, I always hold on to my Sylvan Scryings that they're going to take from me right now. <laughs> Maybe not. Nope, they are. Do that either, we're just gonna pass. Oh, that's a fulminator. This is looking like like we're done here. I think I like started all us right now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm done with this. <laughs> they can have this game. <laughs> that was so rude of them. Who's going to do that to us? Why would they want to do that to us? I just wanted to play a fair and balanced game of magic. Oh, this hand's, this hand's a bit sketchy. So I hate, I hate keeping hands like this, honestly. Um... You have to hit a land, um, and we need to get one redraw. Um, if we were on the draw, I might keep this, but I, I can't do it. This hand's a bit suspect, too. Same situation, really. We're, this one does have two cantrips, though. Mm, I hate hands like this. Mm -mm -mm. Looking worse and worse. All right, we'll keep this one. Bottom. This hand is um, just about the worst uh, we could be doing, I feel like. Tron with stirrings? The answer is no. The answer is no. We cannot.
All right, we're gonna carn an uptick to see if we can keep trying to lie a carn alive. If we can live past one turn, there's a lot of enjoyable things we can get. Take whatever you want, I don't even care. Oh my gosh. Scrying here because I just want to hit another land drop because we're one away from this card at this point. If they hit us with the field of ruin, that's fine because we'll get a land drop because we're uh, we have one more forest in our deck. Stone, pass it over. They've got a lot of cards on us. And they may not know it, but that's a landy field of ruin. Okay, trophy is pretty bad because we don't get anything. And now they know the field of ruin. What? They didn't want a field of ruin. I feel like I would have taken that in a heartbeat. Okay, well, that's unfortunately game, because we can get the land, play it, but we don't have uh, anything to play, and they can uh, hit us for quite a bit. So that's it for this one. Okay, so this is not a profitable league, so I'm just going to draw from this, and then uh, we're going to run it back, so then that way I can get more leagues in. Um, so I'm going to quickly stop the recording.